Hey guys, what is up? Mage here, doing another World of Tanks 360 review. Today, guys, here we are with the Leopard prototype. This is the Tier 9 German medium tank. This is, uh, we're one step away now from the Leopard 1 medium tank at Tier 10. Um, this is quite an entertaining tank. This is one of, uh, two medium tanks in the game that can currently equip the L7. Uh, I'm sure at some point we will eventually see the other tanks that do equip the L7, but... This is one of two currently at tier 9 where you can equip the uh, L7 on a medium tank. And it is an excellent gun. Let's go ahead and look at the packages. Stock, the Leopard Prototype A, comes with a 630 horsepower engine. Comes with the 90mm KWK-54, 8.57 rounds a minute, 212 pen, 240 average damage, 2.90 aim time, 0.34 accuracy. And your tracks will give you 38 traverse. You will get a turret, which will give you 52 millimeters of armor from the front, 60 in the side and the back, 36 traverse, and 390 meters view range. I did play this tank stock. Uh, you know, I've played worse, but yeah, it's not very fun at all. I had enough free XP that I was able to buy this package, so we will go ahead and look at it. Nothing changes, uh, with the exception of the tracks. And the engine, which will give you 830 horsepower, and your track traverse will be 42. Um, so the tank is very maneuverable. The problem I did have was with that 90 millimeter KWK 54, and this uh, first turret you get. 390 meters of view range is kind of annoying in this tank. You just expect better out of a Western medium tank. The um, the 90 mil. It's not bad at Tier 8 and against, you know, Tier 8 tanks and lower. But the problem is, is when you run into Tier 9 or 10 tanks, 212 pen is a little on the low side. Think about it. The um, T-54E1, its pen is 210 millimeters. Uh, so it's only 2 millimeters more, and you have even lower alpha. 2.90 aim time. Yeah, it's just not a good handling gun. It's very annoying. I got frustrated a lot. I was wondering even if this tank was any good. I was hating it until I got to here with the final package. And the only thing that changed will be that 105mm L7A1 and the new, uh, the standard Panzer turret. The, uh, 105 L7A1. Five rounds a minute, 268 pen. 390 alpha damage, 2.29 aim time, pretty much 2.3, and uh, 0.31 accuracy. The uh, standard Panzer turret is the same, with the exception of the traverse speed. Is it the same? Nope, traverse speed is the same. The view range is uh, better. Uh, 10 more meters of view range, 400 meters. Um, you might say, well, what the hell, you know, 10 more meters of view range can't be that big of a difference. Well, it helps when you want to outspot T-54, so it definitely does that. Um, yeah, th this tank uh, is incredible. It is very quick. It is um, very speedy. I would recommend, though, um, just a helpful suggestion for those that are playing this tank. Don't be afraid to ditch the, um, the fire extinguisher for a large repair kit. You can pay for it with silver, as you can tell. Um, this tank has literally no armor. People are going to pen it. Tier 7s could pen it. I'm pretty sure a Tier 6 medium could pen it with little trouble. Um, everybody can out-DPM you. So, you want to play uh, a game of scouting, sniping, and then you retreat, get into a nice advanced position, and just start sniping and playing a view range game. Um, going to have to rely on your teammates a little bit because of the lack of armor and the low DPM. You don't want to brawl in this tank. You're going to get your ass whooped if you get into a brawl with people. Let's go ahead and switch to some gameplay. I'll catch you guys back here in a second. Okay, guys, here we are on Westfield in Counter Battle. Uh, let's go ahead and get equipment out of the way for this tank while we wait to load. Uh, I run Coded Optics and Gun Rammer. That's just standard for me. You guys know that on all my medium tanks. Um, I run vents in my third equipment slot. I think, you know, when in doubt, you run vents. Um, another reasonable option that I can understand why some people would consider it would be vertical stabilizer. It's not a bad option. It's never a bad option to consider. I just prefer to run vents to each their own, though. Some may prefer uh, a vert stab over vents, which is totally cool. 
um, but I'm just telling you options. Um, some might argue for uh, camo net or binos, but you know you got to be still for those things to kick in for a few seconds. So I don't really care for that. Um, something you need to learn and understand: this tank has crap gun depression. It is negative six. Uh, I'll correct it in the video if I am wrong, but um, should be negative six, same as the E50, which is bad considering. Uh, the successor or the predecessor to this tank was the Indian Panzer and you're succeeding it you expect this tank to have some kind of good gun depression it doesn't have any kind of reasonable gun depression so it's pretty much crap very annoying and you wanna you wanna live when you play this tank you wanna live by a certain motto and creed dash playstyle whatever you wanna call it and you gotta play by this always with this tank you scout you snipe and then you run like hell in that order um, you do not have the armor to brawl with people, and with this L7, it is great, great accuracy, uh, reasonably good aim time, and very high pen and good alpha damage. You can really harass other tanks with it, and I'm really wanting a spot here. I'm hoping somebody will peek the ridge. I don't think that's going to happen, and I think the op four might be already over there. I should have went across. But you can't be too confrontational in this tank because of the lack of armor. Alright, there's a target. We're gonna aim in. We're gonna hit him. Great alpha damage. Nice chunky hit there. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see if the rest of his friends are as aggressive. Okay, well, we got an E50 over there. He would have spotted somebody up on that hill. And we got a T-69. Yeah, it's a tier 8 medium, but I'm pretty sure even he could have spotted something. Let's go ahead and run over here. We don't have a lot of guys in the middle looking at the radial, uh, the little mini-map down there. By the way, that is a new... I guess it's a new thing my friend was telling me about. It. If you go in the options, you can enable it. Uh, I can't remember the exact process, but it's very simple. It's just something you got to hit enable on, and it'll pop up. So, very nice feature. Good job, Wargaming, for adding it. I, I think it's a recent feature. Good on Wargaming for adding it. Alright, 7-1. So, I'm not interested poking up here. You know, any other tank with gun depression, I'd have the balls to do that. But I don't want to do it here. I don't have enough gun depression. And there's no sense tanking a hit if I can avoid it. And that's a 7-1. Hard to say what gun he has. And I don't want to get hit, you know, because this tank is made of paper and ammo racks. Okay, I'm going to rely on that E-50 a little bit to get this ball rolling. Alright, and there's a KV-4 down there at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and peek the hill and hit him because he just fired. <clears throat> I believe that's the Tier 8 Heavy? Could be a Tier 7? I want to say it's a Tier 8. Alright, I got no shot there. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and confront this guy. I can take that fight. Um, there's nothing wrong. No shame being predatorial toward these lower tier tanks and this kind of tank. Low DPM, shit armor, nobody's going to blame you. It's quite reasonable. Uh, good shot there. Aim time will troll you on occasion. I mean, this gun does troll you. You're going to roll your eyes and you're going to say, Gun, why are you doing this to me? It's not the gun's fault so much as it is the accuracy. Man, that was a good blind shot into the T-29's turret. Backing up. We are having a good match. You scout, snipe, run like hell right now. The, the problem with this tank, if I had to be honest, it is that you are beholden to your team. If your team is not reasonably good, well, I mean, it doesn't ha they don't have to be perfect. You get my point. They, they have to be decent, and I am goofing so fucking hardcore right now. It's not even funny. I'm going to run directly across here. I don't want these guys here in the back to get away with hiding. And the 7-1 targets me. Nope, he didn't. Come on, gun. Come on, gun. Amen, amen. 2.3 aim time. You're trolling me. Alright, teammates. Come on, guys. Try to finish him. Come on. Alright, I'm going to have to finish him, it looks like. Very good alpha damage. Excellent gun. Um, you are beholden to your team sometimes because your team has to be reasonably decent. They don't got to be knocked down, drag out good, but it helps for them to at least be okay at the game. Um, because this is not a get-or-done tank. This is not a tank that you carry everybody on your back with. Because you don't have the armor. 
I mean, let's face it, everybody has a plan playing this game in any tank up until you get punched in the mouth. T-54 can take a punch in the face. E-50 can take a punch. M-46 Patton can take a punch. There's a prick down there sniping at me, because he's a dick. I'm gonna hit this VK. He took a shot. I'm gonna sneak a hit. Nope. There we go. It was a waffle. I'm gonna hit you, waffle. Yeah, I'm kind of scavenging my shots right now. I'll admit it. I'm being a bitch. <clears throat> I've done well so far. Sometimes you just gotta do what you can. Alright, we, we gotta converge, guys. Come on. I don't wanna lose to a cap. Alright, that's what's capping the IS-6. T-34. I got, I got to break that cap. I'm not letting him get a chance down there. That's cool, T-34. I can hit you. Gun? Why? Why? Did everyone just see that? I just got bullshitted. Okay, the team at least broke the fucking cap. I'm going to run down here and hide. I just got trolled so hardcore. <laughs> That's an example of this gun trolling you. I just got trolled so hardcore on that T-34, it's not even funny. That is bullshit. Alright, T-95's over there. I just got bullshit, and that kind of pisses me off. But, in any case, this is still an excellent tank. It's not bad. Alright, let's see what we can do to this IS-6. It's kind of hold down for me. Yep. I got one went a little low. I don't want to get hit by that fucking T-95, that scumbag up there. Can I spot him again? Nope. He's hiding with the bushes. <clears throat> oh, there he is. Let's try again. Yeah, he's backing off. He don't want me to hit him. Yeah, I have six. I really don't want to cap out against two tanks, so I'll get out of the cap if I can afford to. And then do much reset the cap. Can't do much to that guy. Not a good angle. Come on, gun. Let's try to get this one. There we go, baby. Um. Like I said, I mean, you are beholden to your team. It does kind of annoy me on occasions. It's a good tank, but unlike the T-54 and the E-50, which um, you can survive with them because of their uh, armor, you know, when shit goes wrong. Come on, let's get the last kill. Oh, oh well. That was a good match. But um, T-54, a Patton, you know, 7-1... Um, this tank kind of conflicts with them, so, you know, for you, if you have any of those tanks, you may, I don't know, you, you might struggle to want to keep this tank. I like it. It's a good, um, it's a fun, entertaining tank to play. You can see damage done and, uh, spine damage. That was a good match overall. Team didn't do bad. Like I said, it does help to have a reasonably decent team. I mean, they don't got to be knocked down, drag out, outstanding good, but it helps to have good teammates. Um, because this is not a get or done, put the team on back, my back kind of tank. It certainly can change the course of a battle. Don't sit there and say it can't. It definitely can. It has the gun to do it. Um, you just, you have to play a certain way. You have to play the situation. You scout, you snipe, and when somebody goes to confront you, you're going to have to retreat, run like hell. In the closing phases of a battle, you might have to do something desperate like I did, run down and you know use your speed, and hopefully you can come out of it all right. I got bullshitted in the end by that fucking um, T-34, which was just unbelievable on so many levels. But in any case, that was a good match. All right, guys, I will catch you guys later. Hopefully I will have that Leopard 1 ready for review. Catch you guys later. Peace out.